Last time we finished up pretty much the entirety of the castle part of my main base. There could be a few things here that I might want to add or change or something like that, but generally speaking I am pretty happy with how this match should turn out. But now it's time to try finishing up the other part of my main base, the whole terraining of this entire cave, which will of course add another addition to my finished bases. Apart from I guess maybe the spaceship base? I don't know, that, that one's kind of, kind of in a gray area sadly, but I have a good feeling that this base will be out of the gray area. A couple hours into this and we're making some pretty decent progress. Very, very decent progress. Probably way more progress than I thought I'd make so far. Maybe the reason why I've just been putting like off this entire train was just because I really didn't know like how to do this entire ceiling and everything like that. But I kind of have a rough idea, a vague idea as you can see right here where I'm sort of just going almost straight across and connecting it over there. Cause I think going straight up and then straight back down into this ravine area probably won't look that good. But we still have quite a bit more we have to cover up. You probably think at this point by the amount of amethyst I placed that I'd just be tired of just hearing all these clinging and dingly sounds. But as the one and true Crystal King, I have to endure and push myself through the pain of just hearing all these clinging and dingly sounds over and over and over again. Actually, pain's the wrong word. This is an endurance placing. Just gotta keep pushing myself through until we finish placing all this down. And after enduring it for a few hours, where did all this come from? Like, seriously, we're only a minute and a half in the video and we already have like pretty much almost the entirety of the amethyst layout laid out. I guess that's what I get for having several new amethyst farms now. And for me not doing too much training while gradually grinding out for more amethyst. Stocks are up, motivation is high. You, you, can, you can see why I'm getting so much done so quickly. But after a bunch more grinding, I think we have, for the most part, the entire amethyst part pretty much laid out. This doesn't even look like what the rest of this thing looks like. It looks like just a bunch of web just built out of amethyst. I've not really covered that side in the amethyst web, and I don't know if I want to or not. I might later on, but we'll have to see about that later. Because obviously the amethyst is just one part of this entire thing. Because step two is placing in all the calcite and diorite and all that stuff. I kind of wanted to see if I could get this entire thing, this entire terraining bit done today, but... Considering how much um, amethyst I needed and how much calcite and diorite I have right now, I have m minor doubts, minor doubts that I could do that, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. But after a couple hours, this whole trying thing just ran a little bit short. I mean, I got a decent amount done, so I shouldn't be too harsh on myself. Except I should be really harsh on myself because we got the entire ceiling we still have to do. And then we gotta get all the deep plates to fill in this thing and... Oh, this is a big project. Like, this, this is a serious, serious big project, which I don't think I'll be able to finish in one episode. But okay, new game plan, new game plan. I tried getting the white outlines done, and then we do all the deep slate stuff another episode. Because I don't think there's any shot I'm gonna get it done in this one single episode. But to get the white bits done, I'm gonna need to find more calcite, and I could go out in the world and find mountains or find geos and caves, but I think there's one place which I didn't really think about going to, and that's the ocean. Like, come on, how many geodes have you seen, like, just poking on the ocean? Personally, I've seen a lot. I I've seen plenty, so if I'm lucky enough, I might be able to find some just pokey out geodes inside of underwater caves. And I could have sworn I saw one when building up the super small star around here. Oh yeah, here it is, here it is. I don't know why I left this here for so long and just never bothered picking up. Like, how, how useful would this have been if I just if I just grabbed all this? Short answer, very, very useful. And I think just to make sure we're covered, let's see if we can find a few more. I never bother caring about these underwater caves that much, but the moment I do, I can't really find too many big ones and I don't want to go too deep inside them just in case you know you know the whole oxygen thing that humans might need to, to, to live wait this why is there an ocean monument here how this isn't far from from the main main base how have we never gone to this and how have I never noticed it say when like I was building the, the pixel art that's a cave but I have a feeling I have a feeling yeah yeah that, that, that feeling was right. Oh, wait, actually, what's this? Why is there just a, a wall of water just right here? I'll never understand the generation of Minecraft worlds. I could have sworn these caves were like everywhere, but they seem just so, so sparse and spread out than usual. Maybe I'm just looking in the wrong place? I mean, it is the ocean and there are like at least tiny caves around here with again, more water walls for whatever reason. So there's gotta be big enough caves around here somewhere and there's gotta be big enough caves around here somewhere that have the geodes around the place. What is this thing? There's like, these aren't even water walls. They're just water air pockets. Air pockets with grass at the bottom. What is this world? 
I mean, seriously. And how have I never noticed things like this? Finally, finally, after hundreds and hundreds of ocean exploring, I finally found another one. Either I was just super unlucky, or these things aren't as common as I thought they were. Or both, could, could probably be both. Eh, that's not really that much, if I'm honest. We add a few stacks of diorite into that calcite, and we should be able to do quite a decent amount of work then. And so for the next few hours, I made quite a decent amount of progress, placing down all this calcite and diorite I managed to gather up, right up until I ran out of amethyst. Which is really annoying, like, we're, we're really really close on finishing this but i think i know where i could find more geodes what the how did you get here the one thing i didn't think about when putting a portal down in in the cave making an accidental slime farm in the nether that that is not that is not something that was on my mind oh i'll do i'll deal with those things later because for now we gotta pop back over to the festive district i know we're still really early for christmas i know i know but if there's any place where i think i've seen a geode and just not touched it it's it's probably gonna be in this cave somewhere which would be a whole lot easier to find if good old eddie over there wasn't wasn't blinding us there it is there it is right underneath some some more broken water and just when you want the world to make a little bit more sense it just throws even more broken water at you well even with a logical generation we still got what we came for but okay before we go back i kind of want to find one more geode just to get us to the point where we don't have to constantly go back down into the caves especially with the with where we are right now, as it seems. Fortunately enough, without any instances, we found another one. And after putting all this calcite's work, we're still somehow just barely short of finishing this entire thing. I even did a ton of calcite mining in between clips, and I think just personally, because I am getting sort of, I don't know, tired of having to look for more geodes in really weird places, I'm probably gonna finish off this last little bit outside a video. But even then, what we did is... I, I'm pretty proud of it. I'm, I'm really proud of it, and it's not done. We still have all the detail we're gonna have to do, but generally speaking, like, this is kind of the the view and the picture we're gonna be getting for this cave. There's more to be done, obviously, but still, that is a good-looking view if I've ever seen one. Speaking of good-looking views, even I decided to partner up to work on this brand new food truck, and yeah, we do have some stock, but not really enough to the point where I'm happy with it. So I think instead of just gradually just going around killing animals and things like that, we should probably work on creating a proper and efficient farm. And if you remember right back here, I was going to put like some staircases back here, but I think instead I might be able to put some automatic food farms back here. I've not designed anything yet, but one thing I do know is I'm gonna need to get a bunch of animals down here. Uh, this isn't a problem I was expecting to run into. Uh, sheep, quickly, down here. I think we lost the sheep in the process. Either by wolves or me just going too quick, but you know, progress. It's still something at least. I don't get how you survived the wolf, but you know, I'm kinda glad you did. If you think moving animals is hard the normal way, try, try doing it the way I'm doing. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no, he became lunch. He wasn't supposed to do that yet. Well, at least there's more sheep up here. Yes, you're all very replaceable. Well, not that replaceable. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, let's try chickens. Let's try chickens. They, they they're prone to, to not splatting. I get these two things here so easily, but then they're out beaten by a door. A little bit of critical thinking will go a long way, chickens. Cal shouldn't be too hard to move. You know, I was expecting this guy to give me a hard time, but no, he's, he's been very, very cooperative. Let's get the sheep another try. I feel a hole in my stomach, and that can only be filled with this mutton. And after a very decent length of time later, we finally have two of every type of animal I want to farm down here. At least as of right now, there's probably other animals I want to farm at some point, but for now, we'll stick to the, the four classics. And on the topic of classics, we're going to stick to very, very classic farm designs. I mean, everyone at some point seen farms that look at least something like this. Push a button, water will come out, you breed him, and then you kill the extras. It's it's that it's that simple. And I'm going to need some proper, like, crop farms at some point pretty soon, especially to breed those animals. But I think for right now, a manual farm will be fine. And I think only growing wheat for now is okay, even though we have pigs. But in terms of crop-related farms, it's a, it's a very very, very work in progress. But I think for right now, we're at a point where we can let my boss Eva know. Hi Eva, I built a few farms with the food truck. I need to make more, but still, we can talk more in DMs. I'm sure that'll get the point across. But before she reads those, I should probably get to grinding some food out. And while I do that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later.